Hi everyone, Nina here. Thanks for joining me today as I show you how I created this cute and bright Halloween card using Doodle Butt Design Happy Haunting Collection and gift card holders from Art Impressions. So I started with die cutting the gift card holder from a purple color uh, pattern paper from the Happy Haunting Paper Collection. And then I'm going to fold the flaps that are scored uh, by the die. And then I'm going to come with a double-sided tape. I'm starting with creating the envelope. And then I'm going to create a pocket for the envelope. And then I'm going to create the greeting card where I can add the pocket in. So I'm just removing the release paper and closing the envelope. It's a very easy envelope to create. Look how cute it is. Very beautiful. And the add-on, there is an add-on, pumpkin add-on for that gift card holder. So I just wanted to give a little more depth and a dimension to my pumpkin. So I'm just coming with spice marmalade and I did go around or blend it around all the edges. Look how cute it is and very popped up. I did the same thing with Maud Lawn Distress Ink and I did ink all the edges of the stem. I also die cut. Uh, these are all dies that included in the pumpkin set. And I'm going to do the same thing with Wilted Violet Distress Ink and I'm going to ink all around my envelope so it gives also the same depth at the back and at the front. I am then going to start attaching the little bits and pieces that I die cut uh, from uh, the same paper collection. These dies, they came with the pumpkin add-on and then I'm going to glue everything with my Nova glue. I usually, when the pieces are very tiny like this, I do put them where I want them to be and then I come with a jute picker remove them, put a dot of the glue, and then return it back to it. It makes it very easy to place these tiny pieces. Then I'm going to directly glue my pumpkin on the gift card holder. If it wasn't a card and I want to put this inside the card, if it wasn't supposed to be placed inside the card, maybe I was going to put some dimension and add foam tape behind the pumpkin so, a little bit, so it's a little bit raised from the envelope. But because this is going to be inside the card, I don't want too much of a dimension. Then I'm going to create the pocket using the journal template from Art Impressions and I'm going to cut it from this beautiful pattern paper that has uh, these lovely stars and because they're the same paper collection the star colors are matching with my pumpkin and the envelope. I then I had this um, for the 6x6 paper from the 6x6 paper collection from the same Happy Haunting collection and I chose these colors to create the background where I can add my pocket. I did add double-sided tape behind the pocket on the three sides and then I'm going to test my pumpkin gift card holder. Look how cute it is. Very, very beautiful. Then I'm going to come with the pieces from the ephemera that is included with this uh, collection. And I chose this one that says Hello Pumpkin. And then I thought I'm going to add something fun when the gift card holder is pulled out I want something fun to show and I had this cute black cat it was like peeking out of the pocket it looked so cute so I did glue her directly and then I decided to embellish around my gift card holder with some mini icon stickers and enamel stickers I did cut my card base to the same dimension of the card and I did glue my insert to the inside of the card. And then here I'm going to start decorating the front of the card and here I found these cute strips because I wanted to put some elements that included um, bookshelves and uh, a chair so I didn't want to put it just on the background on the panel outside without grounding it. So I found these uh, fun strips and the pattern papers of the 6x6 collection uh, paper pad and then I did cut them and add them to the front of the panel. I did cut the panel, panel from double stitch die set from Art Impressions. Here is the part where I brought these cute cute stickers from the mini icon sheets that come with the collection. This collection is still available. It was released last Halloween, but it's still available and I found it really, really cute and complements this gift card holder. 
I did adhere these couple stars and the eye and the cute spider, but then later I thought it would look cuter with these enamel dots, so I did place the enamel dots from the outside. So here is the whole thing, the outside with the cute enamel dots, the chair and the bookcase, and when you open in the inside, you're going to find this fun pocket with a gift card holder that you can pull out, and inside it you can hide any gift card. This gift card the kids won in one of their birthdays, it's from Chuck E. Cheese. So I found the purple color totally matching with the theme of the Halloween. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, creating this gift card holder card uh, with the pocket with me today. Thank you so much for joining me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps my channel a lot. Thank you so much for your support. I will see you all next time. Bye!